F-Zero GX producer, Toshihiro Nagoshi, open to working on the series again, would want the new game to be challenging. I believe that if Nintendo just wants a racing game that is fun and accessible, they already have Mario Kart for that purpose. What a great quote. I'd like to make it a challenging game. I really hope this happens. The last time Nintendo revisited F-Zero in any notable capacity was in 2012 for the Nintendo Land, the Wii U like theme park thing, which was really not F-Zero. So they've, they've abandoned the series for a long time, and F-Zero GX sold really poorly and it was really hard, and I think Nintendo just said, fuck this, let's make Wii Sports. And it's kind of unfortunate because it is like my second favorite racing game. It's a cool game. I mean, I have some issues with it because there are some, um, there's some weird, uh, like the meta can be kind of weird. <laughs> it's a pretty intense game though. It's, it's, it's a really cool game with cool music. I love slides like this, like that's really cool. But there's also a lot of weirdness, like there's a technique called space flying where you can just fly to the checkpoints that constitute a lap. I could show that really quick. F0 GX space flying. Just scroll down until we find a world record. Alright. Here's one. Like, once the game gets broken this much, I don't think. I think it's kind of degenerate. Like, the gameplay is more degenerate. And that's unfortunate. I would love to see like in-game leaderboards for this new F-Zero that potentially will exist that are like not only free of hacked times but also free of like degen strategies like this one. I mean it's just it's just too broken. It's like a little it's just too broken and like there are you know there's there's other leaderboards that the community made for this game that do not do not utilize these techniques, but also those are kind of a slippery slope too. It's like once you get rid of space flying, then you got snaking. So let's find a snaking record. Here's one. All right, so in this, you know, you're using L and R very rapidly, and uh, I would say it's just like a little bit out of control, and it's also just too rough on your hands to be doing this to the shoulder buttons all the time. It leads to some pretty cool looking runs, but it's just like... I don't know. I wasn't that much of a fan of snaking. So then, you know, you do uh... Then you get rid of snaking, and you, you're you supposed to play with the... Max speed. Um, here's multiplex. So this is playing with uh the max speed settings, so this is like non-snaking. And in this mode, the Fat Shark is like one of the best vehicles. And there are really cool, this is my favorite track when I used to play this game. I really liked this track. But yeah, this is a, I think this is a good example of what I like about F-Zero. Like this run probably is a good showcase of like how time attacking it can be cool. I think it's cool. I like this. There are also some like mines here you can hit to gain more speed. And uh... Yeah, once you get the booster it goes faster. On lap 2. It's just kind of like a cool futuristic racing game that's... that's uh pretty interesting. The story mode had normal, hard, and very hard, and those were appropriately named. There was no easy, and it was actually very difficult to complete very hard on some of them. It was like, it was a rewarding experience, like they would not, they were not fucking around, like it was serious. Just unlocking everything in this game was really awesome. And uh, Yeah, I, w I would really like to see a new game. I hope that they do make it, and I hope that the fastest strategies are not too uh, broken or like uninteresting. Let's jump over here to Slimline Slits. 
using the Black Bull. This vehicle has wonderful potential to like slide like this. And you can see here's the technique called, uh, well I don't know the official name, but basically you're using the side attack to allow these these slides to like go longer than they normally would. There's a lot of crazy techniques in this game. There's also like a vehicle creator and I thought that was pretty interesting. You could make your own F-Zero machine out of different parts. I would like to see that come back. I would like to see the industrial drums come back from the soundtrack. I would, I would, I just hope it happens, you know, I have been waiting a long time. I hope to see F-Zero return someday. Because I feel like it's a worthy game, you know. Like maybe this time around, if, if the top strategies feel, if they feel right, then maybe I would take it seriously and, you know, try to actually time attack it for real. Because I think it's a series that has a lot of potential. That's pretty much it. So, thanks for listening, and I hope it happens someday.